I'm sure we all agree that people love an underdog. Uh, Leicester City winning the Premier League title back in 2016. Uh, the Jamaican bobsleigh team in the 1988 Calgary Winter Olympics. Uh, in the ancient Battle of Thermopylae, uh, the story of how 300 Spartans fought against Xerxes and his massive Persian army. We all love an underdog story. Someone who's thought to have very little chance of winning or being successful, but yet who gives a task their all and on occasion they strike gold. The unpredictable happens and the unforeseeable occurs. Who would ever have thought it? This is what we read in Acts chapter 9, verses 15 and 16. But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. This is the Lord here speaking to his servant Ananias about Saul, the persecutor of Christians who had just been converted on the road to Damascus. This renowned hater of believers had been saved by God's grace and he had been drawn into God's family. Who would ever have thought it? Folks, God seldom goes with the predictable when choosing his servants. And very often the people we see as being the right people for a job are often the last on God's list. Sometimes the Lord likes to use the least likely person. Think, for example, of King David. His father, Jesse, didn't even include him in the lineup when Samuel came to anoint King Saul's successor. Think of the disciples again. Those who were entrusted with sharing the precious message of the gospel once Jesus had ascended into glory. Some of them were lowly fishermen. One of them was a tax collector. And what about Saul or Paul as he came to be known? If you don't think you measure up or it seems like you can't find, can't find your way when it comes to serving Jesus, please don't ever be downhearted. You might be the very person who God wants to use because he likes to use those who others ignore and don't even consider. In 1 Corinthians 1, verses 27 to 29, Paul tells us this. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. Don't ever get discouraged. Keep your head up and seek the Lord's face. Make yourself available to the Lord. The only limit to what God can do in your life is you. If we doubt or we get discouraged or we let sin come into our lives and defeat us, we will never ever reach our full potential. However, if we remain open and if we strive for godliness and we, we step out in courage, God will open new horizons that we never, ever thought possible. So please don't ever forget that. And may God continue to keep you safe and may he bless you in your walk with him.